Our top focus uh, comes from the state of Uttar Pradesh players at Sitapur, which is just about 45 minutes away from Lucknow. A video from Uttar Pradesh's Sitapur has emerged leading to nationwide outrage, where a Mahant can be seen issuing an open threat to the women from minority community. <laughs> happened in the presence of police, the Mahant in question, Bajrang Muni says, and I quote, if a single Hindu girl is harassed in this area, then I will pick up your daughters from your homes and rape them in public. What is sickening is that the crowds around the Mahant's vehicle hail and cheer on this statement with chants of Jai Shri Ram. After the outrage, the UP police has registered a case, the National Commission for Women too has taken cognizance and has written to the DGP UP seeking action. Well, what is in fact shocking viewers is that an FIR has since been registered but no arrest been made. On the other hand, the sickening Mahant in question has come up with his own clarification. Here 80% Muslim, 20% Hindu. तो 20% हिंदू किस प्रकार रह सकता है उसको बताने की आपको आवश्यकता नहीं आप कश्मीर जैसी स्थिति मेवाड़ जैसी स्थिति पहले भी देख चुके हैं आप ऐसा करेंगे तो कोई अब सहन शक्ति किसी के पास रह नहीं जाएगी अगर आप हमारी बहू बेटियों के साथ अत्याचार करेंगे तो आपके बहू बेटियों भी सुरक्षित नहीं रह पाएंगी दूसरी चीज जब आप हमारी पूरी वीडियो देखेंगे तो आपकी अश्लीलता पता चलेगी क्योंकि ये तोड़ मरोड़ के छोटी मोटी वीडियो प्रस्तुत की जा रही है जिससे मुझे बदनाम करने के लिए या मुझे फंसाने की कोशिश की जा रही है जब इसका पूरा वीडियो देखा जाए तब आपको पूरी असलियत पता चलेगी मैंने सुबह ही पढ़ा मुझे टैग किया गया था ट्विटर पे और मैंने आते ही इसको कॉग्निजेंस में लिया हमने डीजीपी को लिखा है कि इमीडिएटली इस पे एक्शन ले और मैं अभी सुना है किसी मीडिया के द्वारा ही पता चला है कि उनको बुक कर दिया गया है एफ हो गई है उनके अगेंस्ट ये एक अच्छा एक्शन है यूपी पुलिस का जो तुरंत उन्होंने इस पर कार्रवाई की मुझे लगता है ऐसे लोगों को अरेस्ट करना जरूरी है और इनको एक एग्जाम्पल बनाना जरूरी है क्योंकि ये समाज में गंदगी फैला रहे हैं और अपने सो कॉल्ड गॉडमैन होने का फायदा उठा रहे हैं नहीं कोई बात है योगी आदित्यनाथ के नेतृत्व में यही चल रहा है आप लखीमपुर से लेकर वो जो छोटी बालिका के साथ हुआ मैं नाम नहीं लेना चाह रही हूँ ये तो होते रहता है हर रोज एक आंकड़े बढ़ते रहता है औरत की जिंदगी यही है नफरत घृणा और हिंसा उकसाने वाला इतना गंदा बयान मैंने कई सालों में नहीं सुना उन्होंने अपने को ही नहीं लज्जित किया है कानून का उल्लंघन नहीं किया है जो कपड़े पहन रखे थे उसको भी लज्जित किया है ऐसे आदमी के खिलाफ कठोरतम सजा मिलनी चाहिए What's rather foxing at this point of time, viewers, is that how is it that an FIR has been registered but no arrest has been made till now? I want to cut across to my colleague Abhishek Mishra, who's been tracking the very latest from Sitapur, joining us live. Abhishek, what's the excuse for not making an arrest yet? Well, Preeti, so far the only FIR has been registered and the police has not arrested this Mahant so far. He is still in Sitapur in his ashram and at the same time, uh, the comment uh, uh, which he has made and the clarification which he is giving is absolutely absurd. And at the same time, uh, uh, he is making it uh, communal, uh, you know, uh, with uh, projecting that the number of Muslims uh, 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 is, uh, you know, way much than in compared to Hindus. And all those, uh, uh, you know, clarification which he has given is uh, certainly under the questioning but yes indeed this whole matter has now taken the political turn and we have just heard all those political leaders we had from the opposition are now raising questions over this particular issue and Mahant on the other hand has slightly taken a back seat is 
trying to clarify but what he has said is absolutely shocking with the fact that how uh, there has been a lot of situation earlier also. Abhishek, I want to uh, ask you, know, what is the excuse the given harmony, right now so by the police FIR that an FIR has been registered but an arrest is not being made? Why is the police deterring from making this arrest? Well, so far, no official uh, statement has been released by the UP police. Uh, uh, yes, FIR has been uh, registered and uh, it, it is a matter of investigation. But till now, what is actually the thing is that he's still not behind the bars. There has been no arrest. He's still in Sitapur. And uh, what we are getting to know that the police is planning to arrest him. But so far, substantially, there is no arrest. Uh, but on the other hand, as we have been taking this forward, uh, with all these political reactions, Mahant, on the other hand, has now has a fair realization that what he has said is not going to be taken very lightly, but it remains to be seen when he will be arrested and will be behind the bars. All right, let's hope that arrest is made soon. At least an example uh, would be meted out to those who've been standing him, and there were not just ones or twos, but about you know tens and hundreds who were standing right next to him and cheering on while he made this sickening statement. I'm going to now quickly shift focus to the other big developing story that comes in from the state of Madhya Pradesh. And it's a curious case uh, with various kinds of uh, explanations coming to the fore on why it actually happened. But let's tell you, the Madhya Pradesh government is under attack for allegedly stripping journalists, theatre artists and RTI activists. All of this after a picture of eight men standing in their undergarments at the Kotwali police station has gone viral on social media. Kashish Tiwari, a local journalist, has alleged that he had uh, gone to cover a protest outside the police station but was made to strip before the station house officer. One theatre artist, Neeraj Kundar, was arrested under various sections of the IT Act for allegedly creating a fake social media ID in the name of one Anurag Mishra and posting defamatory content against Gurudat Shukla, who is the son of local BJP MLA Kedarnath Shukla. Police say the act was to ensure people take in custody, do not commit suicide, as damage control to police officers have been removed, suspended. मेरे को और मेरे परिवार को लगातार धमकी मिल रही है और ये कहा जा रहा है कि बेवजह फर्जी मुकदमे में फंसा देंगे तुम लोगों के ऊपर हमला करवा देंगे और कुछ पूरा परिवार हमारा डरा हुआ है और ये पूरी तरह से फर्जी सरेंटर किया जा रहा है उसके लिए भी आप लोगों से निवेदन है कि आवाज उठाइए आवाज बनिए नहीं तो कभी कोई पत्रकार सच नहीं लिख पाएगा एक फर्जी आईडी से मेरे ऊपर अनरकल आरोप और विभिन्न प्रकार की भाषाओं को उपयोग करके मुझे बदनाम करने के लिए उन्होंने प्रयास किया कोतवाली में एक आवेदन दिया था कि इस फर्जी आईडी का पता लगा कर दे और इस पर कार्रवाई की जाए तो मैं धन्यवाद देना चाहता हूं पुलिस अधीक्षक महोदय को चल रहा था कि यहाँ पे एक अपराध के तहत की मतलब सोशल मीडिया व्हाट्सएप या फेसबुक में जनप्रतिनिधियों के खिलाफ लगातार अश्लील बातें की जा रही थी अभद्र व्यवहार किया जा रहा था इसकी जांच हेतु हम लोगों ने फेसबुक कंपनी को लिखा और पता कराया कि ये आईडी या ये नंबर कौन यूज कर रहा है जो सोशल मीडिया में लगातार अभद्र व्यवहार अश्लील बातें बातें कर रहा है all right, let's move on right now. Well, there's good news finally coming in for all those who wanted a booster shot but were under the age of 60 years. Well, booster shots for all has been now cleared by the government and it will start on the 10th of April. India will begin its COVID booster dose drive for all on over the age of 18 years on Sunday. The central government has announced the administration of COVID-19 precaution vaccine doses for everyone above 18 years. Meanwhile, the ongoing free vaccination program through the government vaccination centers for first and second doses as well as the precaution dose will continue. This, those who are aged 18 or above and have completed nine months after the administration of the second dose would be eligible for the booster dose. So far, more than 2.4 crore precautionary doses have been administered to healthcare workers, frontline workers and 60 plus population group. It's very welcome news. I think clinically we are seeing a big difference in people who have had booster doses and the ones who have not either not been vaccinated or not been boosted. So because of the protection most definitely seems to be there in a clinical setting, that I think is a very good uh, decision, very welcome news that this kind of protection is going to be available to all our citizens mm -hmm. above the age of 18. 
So I think it's overall a very positive step. Basic thing is that the decision taken by the government of India is also on scientific basis to say that there is evidence in in other countries also that the same dose as the booster dose is having uh, enough response to raise the the antibodies. Mm-hmm. So I think that uh, this this is still a little bit of a gray area whether it should be mixed or not. All right, India today is the only channel that in Ukraine has gone to Bodyanka. and given the true picture of the massacre which many suggest is way worse than bucha that's what also the president of ukraine calls it another town ravaged by russia another town ruined beyond repair First it was Bucha on the outskirts of Ukraine's capital Kyiv and now another suburb of Borodyanka. The city is close to Kyiv where a deserted look of death and destruction. The Bucha images shocked us all. The images of bodies lying strewn around and mass graves left the world numb. But it's not the only town to tell such a tale of horror so close to the Ukrainian capital. This is Borodyanka where authorities fear hundreds of civilians bodies are lying underneath all this rubble and debris around the city. The work to clear the rubble in Borodyanka has begun. It's significantly more dreadful there. Even more victims from the Russian occupiers in other towns in the Kyiv region after the withdrawal of Russian troops. The same cruelty, the same terrible crimes. India today is the first and so far only Indian channel to have visited this Kyiv suburb and we found a trail of destruction in every possible street in every direction. You've heard about what happened at Hostomel or Bucha and Irpin. Berdyansk is again as badly if not worse hit in the Russia Ukraine conflict this is the first time that Ukraine army soldiers are also coming in here assessing the damage that was done during the 43 days of conflict so far the russian forces of course have retreated uh, beyond the belarus border but look at the damage that was done trucks fuel trucks armored personnel carriers tanks and apcs troop carriers all lying burnt on the main road of Berdyansk Ukrainian authorities have reported 26 bodies were found under two ruined buildings in the city so far Kyiv region uh, we find in Kyiv region Makariv Borodyanka Buchl Hostomel Irpin we found uh, uh 650 dead bodies from them it is 40 dead bodies only kids Rescue operations are continuing on a war footing in these parts with hope fading every minute of civilians being pulled alive from what was once their home. My relatives are still there as well as other people who were there in the basement but there were other people on upper floors there and with children too and I know for sure that they didn't come out. I know they were there at that time. були люди і є шанс, що сам підвал не постраждав. There is a possibility that people were hiding in the basement. The basement is now under the rubble, but there is a chance that the basement is intact. That's why we will be digging in and we'll see. Бомбосховище, то вони мали з собою взяти води. The scale of the tragedy in Borodyanka is still unraveling. The horror is still unknown as rescue workers dig through the mounds of debris. trying to find survivors at all this building according to information given by people here was destroyed in an air strike and emergency workers could not get here in time but uh, some locals say there could be survivors here and that is why the focus is on this building one of the many that have been targeted here in bardayansk so healthcare workers and emergency workers are all here standing by uh, amidst locals saying that they've heard voices coming from inside 
this rubble and that is why their effort is to try and get into this area they still say it's a race against time to save lives with cameraman lalit mohan joshi in bardyansk ukraine gorav savant for india today all right viewers moving on now to the economic crisis in sri lanka now after a crisis in power crisis in water the country is going through an acute medical crisis where basic medicines are not available Sri Lanka is in the throes of a humanitarian crisis. Fuel is luxury. Food is scarce. Now its medical stocks are also dangerously low. In the largest health city Colombo, supplies of medicines are running out. This is unprecedented economic crisis for the island nation and now after facing the shortage of food and fuel largely it is now the crisis of the medicines and that too in the era of pandemic when it is hit by the covid but at the same time the people also need medicines doctors are not comfortable with speaking openly on the pathetic situation the special uh, supply food for our for the essential services i know essential services and diesel and gas for hospital in this crisis situation yeah we are okay actually the hospital is unable to cope with the demand for medicines as the supply chain from abroad has been totally interrupted patients are being turned away as there are no medicines in the state run hospital to treat them there are no supply from government side i think uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's not the uh, fault from the doctors or nurses they have no supply At the Colombo Eye Hospital patients are being asked to purchase medicines from outside but the problem is that with prices skyrocketing many are unable to afford it we need help from other countries you know because we can't do much government is doing their best it's a very bad situation especially the poor people i can't imagine how they are going to uh, Uh, afford the uh, food doctors are hopeful that supplies from india will bail them out india always uh, helping us then they uh, give their full support to the sri lanka then for the continuous supply of medicine so the supply is coming at the moment yeah the island nation of sri lanka is totally dependent on import of medicines from its neighbors india pakistan bangladesh and of course the west but import of drugs has been hit due to the dwindling foreign reserves india has offered 1 billion dollar credit line to sri lanka and is sending food fuel and medicines to the island the health structure is likely to go in the crumbling state as it you know the island only depends on the import from its neighboring countries as far as medicines are concerned now until there is more help offered to the island there will be really an health emergency which is an alarming situation for this report in colombo i am ashutosh mishra for india today all right viewers let's uh, quickly move on right now to the developments very fast paced at that in our neighboring country of pakistan well imran khan uh, on his way out it seems the pakistan supreme court verdict has fastened the process of imran zauster in a major setback to come the supreme court reinstated the national assembly the supreme court also directed the assembly to hold the no trust vote on april 9th making imran's removal certain the court declared the order to hold early elections null and void the court also made it clear that the speaker wouldn't be able to adjourn assembly sessions till the time no trust motion is not held The opposition is celebrating the judgment PPP chairperson Bilawal Bhutto said that democracy is the best revenge leader of opposition Shahbaz Sharif called the move a win for the Pakistani people Meanwhile Prime Minister Imran Khan will chair a meet of federal cabinet today to discuss political strategy he will also be addressing the nation this evening All right with that I'm going to go into a quick break to stay with me on the other side is a fact check segment
Welcome back. You're watching our fact check segment where we bust certain claims masquerading to be facts on social media platforms and WhatsApp groups. Now, there's a claim floating about on social media suggesting that Hindu activist Logan aired in front of a mosque in Karoli in Rajasthan where communal tension took place. The fact check on that is false. This particular viral video is from Karnataka's Kolar. Nothing to do with the Karoli violence. With that, a quick break to stay with me. On the other side is to the point.